Hello guys, it's me again and in this video I want to show you how to disassemble and replace a hard drive or RAM inside this laptop. So, before we start to disassemble you should replace or take away yep should replace the battery but here we don't have battery this is broken laptop so if you wanna to open this cover you need to remove this screw this one and on this side also two screws and for this I will use Philips screwdriver here is empty hole so after this you should push forward and bottom case you can see can be easily removed yeah. so what's inside here this laptop you can see RAM two pieces cooler here is cooler for processor and VGA card or South Bridge so also you can see hard drive so and if you want to remove hard drive it's the same you should use Philips screwdriver again and remove four screws So this laptop was made in 2009 year, it was a long time ago, it's almost 10 years ago and in the factory here was installed Windows 7. So let's continue, if you want to replace hard drive you should pull the hard drive easy on the right side yeah and remove from here here is Hitachi hard drive 320 gigabyte here is broken hard drive and also don't forget to remove one two three and four screws and then you can replace it so if you wanna to replace your RAM, here is DDR3, it's easy, just pull out, yeah, and remove it. It's the same for second piece of RAM, yeah, it's easy, and also you wanna put it back, a little bit push it and put it down and fixed and here is the same so if you want to clean your fan or CPU cooler you'll have to remove A little bit 
the screw here and here and don't forget to remove the wire of this fan So I removed three screws, of course we should remove these screws. And these four screws. Here is first, then second, then fourth, and, and this is it. Uh, first is here Here is second Here is first And fourth And don't forget to remove this wire of this fan. And then, yeah, we remove the fan and this radiator. So, and then you can use your vacuum cleaner and brush to clean it. I wanted to remove DVD RV drive. Here you can see this hole. Here was screw and I removed it before. And you can pull your DVD drive on the right and easy to remove it. You can see SATA connector. And then put it back. So guys, this is it for now. But if you have any questions, please write below in comments. Thank you guys. Bye.